Hi, hi, it's Joey wishing you another another zippity doo dah day. I can't believe that, uh, well, I can't believe a lot of things. <laughs> Everything is different, including my hair. <laughs> it got fluffed. <laughs> Somebody says I'm looking like an older Tom Hanks, and I said, Tom Hanks is already an older Tom Hanks. <laughs> but my, stu my, my stuff is uh, on the table here, and I don't know if America wants to put their their stuff on the table. I don't think anybody wants to uh, reveal all of their great thinking because they're afraid. You're afraid that people are not going to like you. You're afraid that someone's going to bomb your house. <laughs> I mean, you got to know that this whole black thing is overdone. It's just overdone, but intentionally. I mean, black people who have been pushing this are wrong because I'll tell you why. I spoke to Stedman, who was uh, Oprah's boyfriend for a long time, and maybe maybe still on the sidelines. But Stephen is a professor. He's a really, really neat guy and a good, good person. And he said, you don't push people, you pull them up. And that's not what we're doing. We're pushing, we're pushing and pushing and pushing. It's aggravating. You can't turn television on without some sort of a message of inclusion or some, I'm forced to watch uh, Hamilton and pay for it. Get out of here. If you're so interested in the, in the country and, and the freedom of it, Show me Hamilton for nothing. <laughs> Let Disney do something. Let them pay back. They don't give back. I've been supporting them for years in every way possible. They have uh, overcharged me for all of my life. Now, Walt Disney's on ice, you know. And I'll just tell you something. Uh, if, if there is global warming, these guys at Disney are going to be in trouble. And the other thing about Walt is that he's going to have, uh, if he ever knew what they were, the way they're running this company, he'd have a meltdown. That's for damn sure. And this whole black thing about zippity doo dah, and uh, they probably want to rename Snow White or have some black person play Snow White. That's this is ridiculous. Leave it alone. You know, well enough alone. And then the part that needs to change is a voluntary army. We all need to change because we want to, and because we can, and we have to learn how to model our children. That's what's wrong. Essentially, we have not been modeling our children. We're not modeling them. We don't have family structures broken down. That's why we're in a family country where the family is dysfunctional. Hello, uh, the light on yet? Is it? Is it? Have you? Are you following me here? We have not modeled for our children. Women going to work all day and finding a way to have kids uh, have aftercare until they are no longer at home. You know, is not is not good modeling. It's not. I mean, no, no. That doesn't mean women should not have jobs. There's a time they're grown and after you've sent them to school maybe that's a good time I don't know I know what I did with my kids was wrong uh, all I did was I took my kids out to uh, all of the activities but I didn't stay there while they were learning to do that and you know you wonder about black people now let me say something black black folks uh, the color black is uh, has been a tough a tough one and it's not going to get settled in, uh, in in this movement it's just not it can't because it's innate you know I mean we, we are too inbred with it we need to change our we need to change our thinking and the thinking changes when you want to change it and I would like to say that what we need to do is motivate people into wanting to be generous and wanting to to have some sort of an understanding that we're all one now, you know what they do these days? They, we, they, see, that's separation. Uh, Martin Luther King did not want separation. He was fighting segregation. He wanted us to be all one, be together. We're not doing that. We're separating. And, and you know, we, we need to separate for the virus, but not, not for color. That's, it's wrong, it's wrong. And so it's got a big bar across it, no. So what we need to do, we need to change our behavior. Okay, so where do I start? With me. I start with me. <laughs> I'm doing what I know how to do, and I'm doing it very well, and I'm being honest. The truth shall set you free. So I'm just being honest. That's my beginning. And my beginning is to contribute to anybody who, uh, I will put my hand out to anybody who needs help. I will do that, and you will and you will reciprocate. And if you don't, I'll move on to the next person who appreciates my help. I will uh, wipe my feet on the doormat and go to the next house. So I'm going to be very compliant and very, cooperative and also very understanding and have some compassion and have some understanding of someone else's poverty which is a big one poverty education heard those things before 
And now Microsoft uh, is just uh, doing something very interesting. They're training people free for various job skills online. How about that? So go online instead of playing a video game and, and take a course. It's free. Microsoft in all these categories where we need helpers, they're doing that. Uh, my, my big joke about it is that uh, uh, Bill Gates has committed suicide. He jumped out of Windows uh, 2018. But anyway, the, the thing is that we need to, uh, to help each other and to inform each other. And the television, they're never going to be good leaders. Why? Because they're interested in selling cars, pharmaceuticals, hotels, and all this other crap. They're interested in making money. And even Amazon and Netflix, you know, they have series so that you will be paying them every month. It's just not, that's not a model. It's a business. you got to separate it. The business of raising a family is what I'm talking about. It's a Reynolds wrap.